Imagine a time when television was a portal to uncharted lands, a window into the wild and rugged expanses of the untamed West. In 1955, amidst the crackle of anticipation, the world was introduced to Cheyenne, a show that rode its way into hearts and history. Can you still recall that moment when you first stumbled upon this black and white treasure? Perhaps it was the flicker of the screen or the echo of theme music that filled the room, invoking a sense of adventure that lingers to this day. As you journeyed through the tales of Cheyenne Bodie, a loner with a coat of honor and a restless spirit, did your imagination gallop alongside him through dusty trails and perilous showdowns? Were there moments that etched themselves into your memory, a daring escape, a heartfelt confession, or a showdown that held the breath of the moment suspended? These are the fragments that painted the canvas of Cheyenne and left an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. But let's step back from the Hollywood glamour and delve into the depths of trivia. Beyond the horseback chases and dramatic monologues lies a tapestry of intriguing facts about the show. From the auditions that shaped the cast to the unexpected inspirations that birthed iconic episodes, the story behind the scenes is just as captivating as what played out in front of the lens. So, saddle up as we uncover these hidden gems of Cheyenne, painting a vivid picture of the sweat, tears, and laughter that went into making this series a classic. Let's journey beyond the screen and into the hearts of those who brought the West to life. All those years ago, years ago, years ago, Cheyenne, a 1955 TV series, emerged as a trailblazer in the Western genre. Originating as the first hour-long Western show, it set the stage for a slew of similar programs. The series featured Clint Walker as Cheyenne Bodie, a rugged and honorable loner, captivating audiences with his stoic charisma. The show's distinctive style lay in its compelling storytelling, seamlessly blending action, drama, and occasional romance. The impact of Cheyenne on popular culture was profound, establishing the blueprint for Western television. The character Cheyenne Bodie became an iconic figure, influencing subsequent Western heroes. The series' storytelling formula served as a template, shaping the way for later Western sagas. It paved the way for more TV Westerns and contributed to the genre's lasting popularity. Diving into the show's intriguing facts, it's fascinating to note that while Clint Walker portrayed the titular character, several guest stars made appearances before their own fame skyrocketed. Notably, the show's success was instrumental in fostering Warner Bros. expansion into television production. Cheyenne exhibited a compelling synergy between storytelling and the charisma of its lead, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of TV westerns. Did you know that Cheyenne was originally intended as a limited series, but its immense popularity led to its continuation? Furthermore, the show's compelling narratives often revolved around themes of justice, morality, and the untamed American frontier. Its enduring legacy underscores its pivotal role in shaping television history, reinforcing the iconic phrase Cheyenne, go to it. Clint Walker's brawny physique and rugged demeanor became synonymous with the iconic Western genre. As the titular character in the 1955 TV series Cheyenne, Walker's towering height and hairy, muscular chest set him apart. In fact, his shirtless scenes were a notable feature of the show, captivating audiences with his imposing presence. However, a peculiar twist occurred in the show's final season, which consisted of 13 episodes. Astonishingly, Walker chose to keep his shirt on throughout all of these episodes, a departure from the show's precedent. Cheyenne itself holds another distinction in the annals of television history. The series galloped onto screens as U.S., television's inaugural hour-long western, marking a significant shift in the landscape of TV programming. With its extended runtime, the show could delve deeper into character development and intricate plot lines, allowing viewers to immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of the Old West. Walker's embodiment of Cheyenne Bodie earned him a lasting place in Western lore. His commanding presence and towering height were pivotal in shaping the show's success and his own enduring legacy. While Walker may have left his shirt on in the final season, his impact on the Western genre and television as a whole remains timeless. In the vast frontier of television history, Cheyenne stands tall, not only as a trailblazing Western, but as a cultural touchstone. And Clint Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie remains etched in the pantheon of iconic characters, defining an era of television storytelling. In storytelling, 
in Storytelling, Cheyenne unveiled the untold origin story behind the iconic TV series in the heart of the mid-20th century. Television screens across the nation flickered to life with the rugged allure of Cheyenne, a series that etched itself into the annals of TV history. As the iconic show debuted in 1955, it brought with it a tale as gripping as the American West itself. At its core, Cheyenne followed the journey of a lone drifter, portrayed with gravitas by Clint Walker, as he carved a path through the untamed landscapes of the frontier. But the intriguing backstory of the show's titular character is where the narrative truly comes to life. Legend has it that Cheyenne Bodhi, the enigmatic lead, derives his name from the very Cheyenne Indians who reshaped his destiny. Orphaned in a brutal encounter that claimed his parents' lives, young Cheyenne found an unexpected twist of fate. The same tribe that brought tragedy into his life also extended a hand of salvation. Raised by the very people who had initially taken all he held dear, Cheyenne Body's journey was one of reconciliation, identity, and a quest for justice. Among the lesser-known anecdotes about the show is the revelation that Ron Miller, a promising talent of his time, auditioned for the role that would ultimately be embodied by Clint Walker. This audacious endeavor of Miller's speaks volumes about the allure and prestige that Cheyenne commanded, even before its debut. While the role ultimately eluded Miller, it's a testament to the show's gravitas that it drew in aspirants of such caliber. But what truly set Cheyenne apart were the stars who shone in guest appearances, further cementing its place in the pop culture pantheon. A young James Garner, who would go on to make a name for himself in Maverick, graced an episode, offering audiences a glimpse of his future stardom. Dennis Hopper and Bruce Dern, both in their nascent careers, also left an indelible mark through their early roles on the show. These encounters between budding talent and a series destined for greatness created a synergy that fueled the show's allure. As we look back on the golden era of television, Cheyenne remains a monument to the power of storytelling and the allure of the untamed West. From its origin story that intertwined tragedy and resilience to the constellation of future stars it introduced, the show encapsulated the very essence of the American frontier spirit. Its legacy endures as a testament to the timeless allure of a bygone era. era, 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 era. Cheyenne, a western legacy in the rugged landscape of 1950s television, where the wild frontier galloped into living rooms across America, stood the iconic TV series Cheyenne. Premiering in 1955, it rode high on the Western craze, leaving an indelible mark on the small screen. With its crisp narratives and tales of dusty trails, the show became an enduring favorite, running for seven triumphant seasons and etching its place in television history. Among its many intriguing connections, the most unexpected might be the rendezvous with future stars of Bonanza. Three of the four core Bonanza actors made their appearances on the Cheyenne Range. Michael Landon, in one of his earliest acting roles, featured in Decision and White Warrior. Dan Blocker, renowned as Haas Cartwright, graced the episode's land beyond the law. And Noose at Noon. Lauren Green, who would command the role of patriarch Ben Cartwright, left his mark in gold, glory in Custer, prelude in gold, glory in Custer, requiem. Pernell Roberts, however, chose not to ride alongside his comrades in Cheyenne. Remarkably, another name from the Bonanza posse, Ray Teal, shared the screen in the Decision episode alongside Landon. His future tenure as Sheriff Roy Coffey was yet to be imagined. Fate had its own designs on the small screen destinies. Yet, the trail of Cheyenne's legacy extended beyond its crossover connections. During the filming of the episode The Dirty Warriors in 1971, well after the show's end, the series stalwart Clint Walker faced his own battle off-camera. A skiing accident thrust him into a coma, suspending him between reality and the real West he once ruled. Against all odds, Walker rallied and emerged from the brink, a testament to his resilience that echoed the spirit of the roles he portrayed. Cheyenne was more than a show, it was a cornerstone of the Western genre's golden age. Its rugged charm, gripping stories, and charismatic lead, Clint Walker, captivated audiences. For seven seasons, it rode high in the Nielsen ratings, casting its spell on viewers young and old. As the years flowed like rivers through the canyons, Cheyenne left an indomitable mark, etching its name in the annals of TV history. In the ever-shifting landscape of television, Cheyenne remains a stalwart, reminding us of a time when the frontier was just a channel away. 
Its stars may have ridden into the sunset, but their legacy still blazes bright across the western sky. Western sky. Warner Brothers Pioneer TV series, Cheyenne and a Groundbreaking Move. Warner Brothers debuted the first original television series produced by a major Hollywood film studio in 1955. Unlike its predecessor that repurposed existing content, this series marked a bold leap into exclusive television programming. Enter Cheyenne, a western saga that graced the small screen with its rugged tales of the Old West. Although Warner Brothers had already made its mark in cinema, Cheyenne was their maiden voyage into crafting narratives solely for television. Riding on the success of its film division, the studio embarked on a trailblazing venture, propelling itself into the realm of episodic storytelling. While the show initially sought to cater to a wider audience, it wasn't without its share of adjustments. In a twist of fate, a recurring character named Smitty was intended to accompany the titular character throughout the inaugural season. However, the winds of change blew swiftly, as both critics and corporate sponsors, including the formidable Monsanto, voiced concerns. Their grievance, the show was leaning too heavily toward younger viewers, a sentiment echoed in a variety review that dubbed it almost strictly kiddie o -fair. Producer Roy Huggins emerged as the harbinger of transformation during this transitional phase. Hired midway through the first season, Huggins orchestrated a pivotal change that sculpted Cheyenne into a different breed. His first decisive stroke, the elimination of Smitty, the psychic whose presence inadvertently skewed the show's tone. This adjustment paved the way for a more measured, laconic portrayal of Cheyenne Bodhi, the eponymous hero, evolving him into a solitary wanderer of the frontier. Amid the western backdrop, another layer of Cheyenne's persona emerged. In 1959, the enigmatic Clint Walker, who embodied Cheyenne Bodhi, surprised fans with an unexpected twist. Venturing beyond the small screen, Walker serenaded audiences with an album of inspirational songs. Notably, in an episode titled The Durango Brothers, Walker's vocal prowess took center stage as Cheyenne showcased a resonant baritone voice, leaving an indelible mark on his admirers. Cheyenne, a pioneer in both narrative and industry, etched its mark on television history. A saga of evolution, it evolved from an emblem of kid-friendly content to a nuanced portrayal of a lone drifter, all while embracing the musical talents of its star. In a landscape dominated by experimentation, Cheyenne emerged as a testament to the ever-shifting tides of television entertainment. As we bid adieu to our journey through the captivating landscapes and rugged tales of the 1955 TV series, Cheyenne, it's remarkable how a single show can weave itself into the tapestry of our memories. The dusty trails, the echoes of gunfights, and the camaraderie that Cheyenne Bodhi shared with the Wild West have all left an indelible mark on our hearts. As you reflect on those moments when you sat on the edge of your seat, immersed in the adventures that unfolded on the small screen, you can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia. Perhaps it's the way Cheyenne's courage and honor resonated with your own values, or maybe it's the escapism into a bygone era that never fails to transport you. This series became more than just television, it became a mirror reflecting a part of your soul that yearns for adventure and seeks justice. Now, I invite you to share your treasured memories and musings about Cheyenne. Let the world know how this show colored your perceptions, inspired your dreams, or simply provided solace during times of uncertainty. Your unique connection to Cheyenne is a testament to the show's enduring power to unite generations through the magic of storytelling. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane and for sharing your thoughts with us. Your stories add depth to the legacy of Cheyenne and reaffirm the bond that we, as enthusiasts, share across time. So, take a moment to pen down your reflections and let your voice join the chorus of admiration for this iconic series. Until we meet again on the plains of reminiscence, remember that the spirit of Cheyenne lives on in the hearts of all who have been touched by its saga. Stay true, stay adventurous, and keep those cherished memories alive. Farewell for now, dear friend. friend.